This is the build of the LX uh, twin 70 millimeter F22 uh, and some of the mods that I did. Um, so starting with the with the motors, I want to use in rudder motors. I wanted to have uh, 12 blades and the 80 amp. Um, so I'll put the uh, the uh, details of, of what these motors were in in the um, in the description below. Um, what I also did was I didn't like the motor mounts, so you see in some of these pictures, I actually um, glued in some uh, plywood to mount the motors to. So that was that was one little mod that I made there to make them more secure. I wanted to have afterburners too, um, so I got the uh, the ring uh, afterburners. I spray painted the inside of the exhaust tubes with uh, silver paint, and then I put I, I cut a little trough in there for the rings. And I want to make sure that those rings were flush with the uh, the tube itself, so they wouldn't obstruct the uh, the fl airflow uh, out the back. And then I also had to bevel uh, the back side of it so that they would reflect the uh, light door. And you can see it in this picture. So here's here's a sample of what the the lights do. Um, these are uh, cyclone lights, and basically they'll go from blue to yellow to to red as you uh, increase the throttle here. Okay. So I don't have the sound on this one up much, so you probably, uh, there, well, the engines weren't on. It was just running the uh, lights in this case. Okay. So next was the uh, vertical stabilizer. I didn't like the position of the, uh, the servo there where it was facing outward. So basically I wanted to put the servo on the inside of the vertical stabilizer, so I cut out uh, the back side of the, of the stabilizer and just pushed it to the other side. Okay. Uh, and then put the, um, uh, the servos on the inside uh, and then was able to um, glue that piece in place and then with a little bit of paint you can't even tell that um, there was a hole there. Okay, so that was another mod. I did have to make a different hole into the fuselage to run the uh, servo wire um, because the, the servo did move from one side to the other. Not a big deal there. Okay. The retracts, uh, LX retracts are notoriously um, not, not so good. And I wanted to have stronger retracts because I'm not the best um, jet pilot at landing. So um, these retracts came from uh, uh, F-35 and also the T-33 for the, uh, for the nose and the mains are from the uh, 35. So I needed to build some, um, some blocks, some mounts, and that's what those gray ones are there. Um, these mounts, uh, along with the other components that I made, you can find on Thingiverse. Uh, and I'll, I'll post that in the in the, um, in the description below. So basically, they, they fit. I did have to do a little bit of sanding to make them work, um, but but uh, they did they did fit. Uh, for the nose gear, uh, you saw there that was a servo that I had to uh, put in place to turn the um, uh, the nose gear. So that's what that servo was that you just saw. Okay. I did put a film in the um, uh, the, the the bottom to keep the grass out. Um, here's the lights. So um, I put uh, two headlights on the front and then I put the navigation lights with the red and the black and then on the bottom I put red flashing lights uh, to simulate uh, what the real F-22 has. So I had to build uh, the uh, headlight uh, bracket. Uh, basically it clips on to the, um, to the retract. Uh, and then the uh, the lights just the white lights just clip into that and that's also on the uh, thing you verse the, uh, the the design for that okay um, the only thing is I did have to use I couldn't figure out a way to to keep them from uh, sliding up and down the way the brackets made they won't uh, rotate but uh, they, they, I did have to uh, use a zip tie to keep them from sliding up and down for the navigation lights I built a, uh, a little box um, that I would put into the wing here, and uh, the, the lights are on the top and the bottom, okay? And you can see here one of the red lights that's in that, navigate, that nav box. And then I also made uh, clear covers to put over the lights, okay? So you can barely see the box in the wing there. The aileron uh, is, is uh, uh, out of the box. Uh, it, it's using the same servo as the flaps and the, um, uh, well, it's using the same servo as the elevator. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to have it separate uh, uh, servo there. So I just cut uh, a spot into the wing and then put in um, aileron servers. 
The wing wiring was a bit of a challenge. Um, you know, obviously I put servos in, I put nav lights, it already has a servo. I wanted to add the, um, the smoke. And so trying to run all those wires through the wing was a problem. So I built this little um, uh, wire uh, channel uh, and that, that's what you saw there. Uh, and that's also uh, on Thingiverse, okay. Um, the, the, it, it was a real challenge to get the wiring to work because you have to glue the fuselage before you glue the wing on. And so trying to get the wires in the wing uh, to, to, uh, to work properly, what I ended up doing is putting connectors uh, where the wing attaches to the fuselage. And then when I um, was, uh, when, once I glued on the, the wing to the fuselage, then I can connect up the wires in, in that, um, that uh, wiring tray that you just saw, the wiring trough. So here's some of the pictures of, of, of the wiring that I did. Okay. Um, uh, that, that was a, a, a lot of work to do, to do the wiring, right, to make all the wiring fit. Also, I did, you can see in this picture, I did have a uh, spar that I put in. I actually put in two, two small spars, um, graphite spars, uh, to help hold the wings into the fuselage, uh, just to give it some additional support, okay. Uh, for that, uh, that trough, uh, you know, I was concerned about cutting the wing, and so that trough adds a little more, um, uh, you know, rigidity, if you will, to the wing. Okay. Um, so next I go into, um, this is the lights right there. Here you can see um, from the earlier video, I've cut off and soldered the um, connectors for the flaps and the ailerons uh, much shorter. Okay. I'll have to take out a little bit of that foam right there um, to make sure that those fit flush. And then here, coming out of the fuselage is the wires going for the flaps and the ailerons, okay? Um, so you, uh, it's hard to see here, but what I had to do was, uh, I'll come back to the other side. On this side here, there was a trough here for the, um, for the wires, right? okay? This thing was tiny, um, and we've gotta be able to put three servo wires in there plus um, the uh, lights that I have, uh, and also this uh, wire for the, um, for the smoke, okay? So three server wires and then three sets of, you know, this tiny wire, right? So this trough, this trough had to be much bigger, okay? Um, and so I built that out. Um, and so the, the three wires, so you can see down here, this is where um, I've changed the, I modded the uh, rudder so that instead of coming through this hole, the wire comes through this hole. So I want to put the servos on the inside of the rudders, not on the outside like they had it. So in order to do that, the servo wire needs to come through here. It'll run through here, up through here, down into this little trough. And that's why I have not widened this one because there's only one wire running through there. But then that rudder, uh, aileron, uh, flaps, and then two light wires and then the um, uh, smoke wire all have to run in this trough up here, okay? So they're gonna, they're all connect there. And then what I'm doing is um, running them through here um, and then um, I'll run them up here. And then most of these, I'm gonna make a simple version so that um, uh, if I have my, my um, Ailerons and flaps are, ailerons and elevator are just going to uh, act as normal, okay? I'm not going to try and do the uh, elevon. Um, and then for the thrust uh, vector, I'm going to um, also treat it, when I, so I have, have it so I can enable it, and then treat it just like elevators, right? I'm not going to try and make it uh, ailerons, okay? Um, so... Anyways, those are all, most of them are going to be wide, some of them aren't. So um, right here is where I'm putting in the Ys so that when I run um, north of here um, towards the cockpit, these will all be single wires running up. Um, the other thing is on these wires here, let me pull back the tape here and you can see one of these. These wires, uh, I can move the camera a little bit, get my finger out of the way. Um, these wires have to be flush to the surface here. Uh, if I can get my finger in there, okay. These wires have to be flush, uh, that finger right there, to the surface. And the reason for that is on the um, 
this is the top side of the um, fuselage. On the bottom side of the fuselage, there's another set of wires um, for the thrust and the elevator that also run in a similar trough to this. So wires in this trough cannot uh, stick up. They have to be flushed to this level. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to get these uh, the fuselage to fuse together. Uh, glue together. So here on the battery, um, I wanted to use a much bigger battery. Uh, the original, what they called for, was a 3600 success, and I wanted to go something around 5000, so I've got a, a 5200. So I did have to enlarge that hole there in the back, um, sand it until I could get that to fit, uh, and, it, and I wanted to enlarge it enough so that it didn't make the, uh, uh, the back of the, uh, the, or the front part of the fuselage uh, bow out, right, um, because it was spreading too much. Um, I also did the thrust vectoring, uh, pretty much just uh, by the book there, um, how they had it. Um, and, and again, it, they're just tied together. Um, for the servos, uh, I mentioned earlier, here's a picture of the servo that's doing the steering. Okay, so when I replaced the, uh, the nose uh, uh, retract, I had to have a steering servo. Okay, and then this is this was the servos that I had used. Okay, um, and then he, here I'm using the Spectrum AR8360T uh, eight-channel receiver, so I can do throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, flaps, retracts, thrust vectoring, pilot ejection, and smoke. And here's the uh, big glue job that uh, you typically do on these LX jets. Um, in my case, I used a 45-minute epoxy um, and had some tape to hold it together, and I actually put some weights on it to, to keep it, uh, you know, f uh, from pulling apart. But you have to be careful because it can damage the top of the fuselage, so be careful if you do that. Hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.